The emergence of fifth-generation fighter aircraft has redefined the integration, automation, and intellectualization of onboard systems. The Su-57 was the first Russian combat aircraft to use the Information and Control System, IUS, as the fundamental component of the entire digital architecture, rather than solely as a connecting element. IUS-57, also referred to as ICS-57, establishes a unified digital control environment by facilitating the interaction between computing modules, sensors, actuators, and communication tools. This facilitates the implementation of the electronic co-pilot concept and enhances the efficacy of the fifth-generation fighter's combat operations in modern combat scenarios. The IUS-57 is built on a foundation of integrated modular avionics. In place of diverse computing devices, engineers at the Sukhoi Design Bureau developed a unified distributed onboard information network. The central processor of the system is built from Russian multi-core processors, which enable the real-time processing of substantial amounts of data. The fault tolerance of IUS-57 is substantially enhanced by the system's redundancy of computing power and transmission channels, even though the precise number and specifications of computing modules are not disclosed. The system uses a redundant digital MyL 1553B bus that has been upgraded to a bandwidth of up to 1.2 gigabytes per second, as per the Romenskoy Instrument Design Bureau's materials on the Baget 53-31M onboard computer, which serves as the foundation for IUS-57. In a presentation at the Avionics 2022 conference, Gosney S. stated that IUS-57 employs fiber-optic communication channels, IEEE 1393B standard, with a maximum speed of 2 gigabytes per second for the transmission of data from sensors to processors. Mikhail Strilets, the general director and chief designer of Sukhoi, confirmed in a 2023 interview with Military Industrial Courier that the Su-57 employs a hybrid architecture. This architecture uses copper lines, MIL-STD-1553B, to manage critical systems with redundancy and fiber optics for high-speed data streams, such as radar, electro-optical systems, and UAV communication. Real-time algorithms are the foundation of the IUS-57 software, which is essential for aviation combat. The system implements cybersecurity mechanisms, such as the capacity to update functionality without hardware intervention, isolation of critical segments, and hardware-software integrity control. This method guarantees scalability and adaptability, enabling the integration of new algorithms and modules as technologies continue to develop. The IUS-57 unites data from all of the Su-57's primary sensor systems. These consist of the NO36 Belka multifunctional radar, the 101KSV electro-optical system, and electronic intelligence, ELINT, and electronic warfare, EW, systems. Five antennas constitute the 101 radar system of the SU-57. The X-band AESA radar, N036011, and two side-looking AETA radars, N036B and N036B01, which are also in the X-band, are located beneath the nose cone. The wing routes are equipped with two additional AESA arrays, N036L and N036L01, in the L-band, which are employed for identification friend or foe, IFF, missions. This configuration provides the pilot with 360-degree situational awareness, and certain tactical applications enable the aircraft to evade detection by ground-based Doppler radars. The Belka radar is capable of concurrently tracking up to 60 targets and engaging 16 of them. The detection of both air and ground targets is made possible by the X-band. The 101 KSV electro-optical system, which provides passive surveillance, complements the radar by detecting and tracking targets in the infrared and visible spectrums, including missile and aircraft thermal signatures. The EW and ELINT systems safeguard the aircraft from external jamming and detect and suppress hostile electronic systems. Modern multispectral data fusion algorithms are implemented by the Su-57 to enhance pilot situational awareness. These algorithms improve the accuracy of target detection and identification by incorporating sensor inputs and employing neural network methods.
In high-jamming environments, the system dynamically reallocates data source priorities to enhance targeting precision by reducing false alarms and maintaining resistance to interference. Adaptive AI algorithms automate a significant amount of combat operations. The IUS-57 is capable of automatically calculating routes around danger zones, selecting the most effective weapon deployment modes, ranking threats by their level of threat, optimizing radar operation modes to reduce visibility, and assigning targets to individual aircraft within a group. The tactical situation is analyzed by the decision support system, which then evaluates threat parameters and recommends the most effective response options. The aviator can be relieved of routine responsibilities by the system's ability to assume control of specific subsystems when required. The Su-57 is capable of executing up to 90% of missions without the need for pilot intervention due to its high level of automation. This minimizes human error, enhances reaction speed, and reduces the pilot's duty The IUS-57 facilitates both individual operations and group coordination with other aircraft and unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs. The system offers the pilot comprehensive decision-making information, automates armaments and defense management, and provides complete control over all onboard systems in solo mode. The IUS-57's capacity to integrate with UAVs is its key feature, which sets it apart from control systems in previous generation aircraft, including the Su-35S and Su-30SM. The Heavy Strike UAV S-70 Okotnik, which operates in a leading wingman configuration, was developed by the Sukhoi Design Bureau to guarantee incorporation with the next generation aircraft. While the system independently assigns targets and resources among platforms, the Su-57 can command the UAV, delegating specific duties to it. This combination significantly enhances the tactical capabilities of air formations and facilitates the development of novel combat scenarios. Nevertheless, the practical application of these modern systems demonstrates that technical malfunctions are still feasible, despite the presence of advanced automation and intelligence. In October 2024, an incident occurred in the Ukrainian-controlled Donetsk, an R-74M missile launched from the weapons compartment of an Su-57 struck an S-70 Okotnik UAV, according to numerous specialized aviation sources. The incident is attributed to either a tactical data exchange error or a malfunction in the friend or foe identification system, according to Russian defense sources. An official statement has not been issued by the Russian Ministry of Defense. The case is perceived as a growing discomfort in the process of integrating new manned and unmanned platforms into a unified control environment. Complex combat scenarios emphasize the necessity to refine interaction algorithms, improve identification systems, and increase software reliability. Nizhny Novgorod-based NPP Polet, which is a subsidiary of the Rostec Rus Electronics Holding, has developed an onboard communication suite that uses integrated modular avionics IMA technology. This suite comprises universal technical solutions that can be installed on both military and civilian aircraft. The company manufactures the BCS-57 onboard communication suite for the Su-57, which facilitates secure data exchange with other aircraft, ground control stations, and components of the Air Force's automated command system and ground control stations. The system is compatible with contemporary data transmission protocols, such as secure digital and fiber optic channels. This enables the Su-57 to operate within a unified network-centric infrastructure, facilitating the exchange of real-time tactical information. The IUS-57 is compatible with the control systems of the Russian Air Force, both current and future. To enhance the responsiveness and administration of air groups, it facilitates the automatic synchronization of data among formation members, dynamic tactical updates, and integration with ground command centers. Data processing delays in the IMA architecture for critical duties do not exceed 50 milliseconds, as stated in the 2022 Rostec Annual Report.
The Su-57 cockpit is engineered to reduce pilot workload and facilitate rapid information perception. The pilot is provided with a large head-up display and two multifunctional LCD displays that provide tactile feedback. The pilot is able to maintain their concentration on the task of flight by controlling critical functions through voice command. The interface adjusts to the mission, displaying only the information that is required for decision-making at any given moment. Chief designer Mikhail Strelitz describes the aircraft as a platform that is capable of effectively executing its tasks for a minimum of 50 years. He emphasizes that the aircraft will gradually integrate next-generation technologies, essentially evolving it from a fifth-generation to a fifth-plus-generation fighter. This includes components of sixth-generation technologies. The data is presented in a manner that is both straightforward and well-organized. The system enhances ergonomics and mitigates error risks during stressful situations by integrating with the pilot's personal protection and life support systems. The IUS 57's future development is centered on the implementation of neural network algorithms that will enhance the system's autonomy and adaptability. The interface functions are currently being expanded with the intention of using augmented reality to display tactical information and control armaments. Sukhoi is also improving its information display systems. In addition to cockpit displays, a flight helmet visor that incorporates optical electronic positioning and video display systems will project the image directly onto the visor shield, displaying data from the onboard computer. Eye tracking sensors are integrated into this headwear, which serves as a replacement for many instruments. The visor displays the most useful data, such as target acquisition and lock-on options, in line with the user's head position. The helmet-mounted targeting system is designed particularly for the Su-57 and offers real-time data on the aircraft's status, combat environment, speed, altitude, and target distance. The integration of additional sensor channels and the automation of group operations will be facilitated by the introduction of new software modules. Modern AI technologies have the potential to further reduce the workload of pilots and enhance the combat efficacy of the Su-57. The system is anticipated to make autonomous decisions in both routine and unexpected situations in the future, thereby reducing human error. The IUS-57 is the cornerstone of the intelligent combat complex of the Su-57 fifth-generation Russian fighter, which unifies sensors, actuators, and communications in a unified information environment. High reliability and scalability are facilitated by its modular, redundant, and network-centric architecture. The Su-57 is capable of operating efficiently in both solo and group operations, as well as in collaboration with UAVs due to the intelligent data processing and decision support algorithms. Sukhoi asserts that the IUS-57 outperforms its foreign counterparts in terms of automation, integration, and adaptability, thereby paving the way for the creation of next-generation aerial combat systems. Now, do you agree with Sukhoi that the IUS outperforms foreign ones? Let us know in the comments. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.